Dr. Kaplan was referring to is very different. So we have to determine whether there is an autoimmune uh, a substract to, to the, the arthritis that the patient is suffering. In osteoarthritis, typically the pain uh, is worse after inactivity. It affects usually large joints and the hands, but there's not a lot of swelling, no redness, not a lot of heat coming out of the joints. Um, and the patients have a very chronic and indolent course where there's a lot of years of a patient suffering with, with this type of arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, on the other hand, which is the most common form of uh, inflammatory arthritis, affects 1% of the population worldwide. And as you heard uh, Dr. Goodman's introduction, he's a board-certified uh, pediatric rheumatologist. He sees little kids with rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory uh, forms of arthritis. And you can imagine that can be very devastating. So that's the type of arthritis that it's, does not affect only older people, but it can affect uh, 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 even young, young uh, children. Uh, that's the type of arthritis where the hands become very swollen, the joints, the knuckles, very swollen, hot, red, is the arthritis that most people fear because it's the one that leads to most deformities. You've seen the hands like this, maybe. Some, some people, it's me. <laughs> uh, it's it's the, the one that most people fear and the one that fortunately in the last, um, I would say, five years, we've made a lot of progress in finding treatments that are much more effective than what we had in the past, maybe not curing the, uh, the condition, but alleviating a lot of the symptoms. And for the first time in a long time, uh, preventing the long-term damage that, that the inflammation causes. Uh, so we're very excited.